friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this cataract is likely to be a posterior subcapsular cataract but we cannot rule out the possibility of a posterior polar cataract it is recommended that in posterior polar cataracts or whenever you suspect a cataract to be a posterior polar cataract you should not do hydro dissection but dr m s ravindra of karthik netralaya india bangalore india is a strong proponent of doing hydro dissection in cases with posterior polar cataract keeping the intraocular pressure on the lower side being inspired by his videos and his ideas in this case i have planned to do hydro dissection by this time the main incision and a side port has been made on the left side of the main incision and now hydro dissection is being done now capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uh, ureter forceps a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anti clockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5 mm and now hydro dissection is being done a 27 gauge cannula and bases and the intraocular pressure is on the lower side and very gently half of the wave goes and stops at the center and then other half and then hydro delineation yes it is done and now is the time to introduce the feco needle into the anterior chamber the bottle height has been reduced to 80 cm the vacuum has been reduced to 250 flow rate is 25 and ultrasonic energy is only 40% in this case and keeping the iop intraocular pressure on the lower side i am aspirating the lens mass this is a very soft cataract the nucleus the nucleus is being aspirated and it is almost done yes and we can see a small opening like at the center that is an opening in the posterior epinucleus or posterior cortex the posterior capsule is intact i'm using this simco Simco is very gentle you can keep the iop on the lower side and aspirate the cortical matter in bimanual irrigation aspiration you can do you can keep more irrigation and the flow may be more more about in this case there was only one side port so i used this instrument the case is the nucleus management is done and this is a bit of polishing of the posterior capsule using only irrigation the irrigating jet of fluid disloses the cells and this is a small enlargement of the 
main owned because I'm going to use a whiteboard cartridge and this is a beautiful lens my favorite lens Technis One from Johnson and Johnson it's a beautiful lens if I opt for surgery of my own eyes I will go for this lens multifocal no toric no a beautiful monofocal lens and rest of the corrections being done by spectacle this is my aim for my own eyes and most of the time I use this idea for my patients The side port is being closed by hydrating corneal stroma on other side of the stab wound. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time a gentle stream of fluid removes the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. The intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side. The integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. I am so loud on this idea that gentle hydrodissection can be done in posterior polar cataracts. Keeping the intraocular pressure low all the time, using low bottle height, we can do posterior polar cataracts as usual. Just we have to be gentle and we have to keep the intraocular pressure on the lower side.